guys and welcome to Heidi's Fish Tank. I am filming on my iPhone right now and the lighting's not the best because I'm hiding in the bathroom. 90% of my videos get filmed when my kids are distracted or sleeping and so I'm like, where can I hide? Um, anyways, I wanted to do a video uh, that I've been thinking about for a while now because I keep seeing it pop up in uh, forums that I'm a part of and it is about glowfish yet again. My most popular video actually is the truth about glowfish um, because there's just a ton of misinformation out there about them. Um, and recently it's been coming up again because there are some new glowfish on the market and more that I think will be coming based on the research that I've done. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. Um, but basically what glowfish are, are fish that have been genetically altered. They're born that color, their babies are born that color, they never lose color, and the bright fluorescent neon look of them um, is man-made, but it's not like dyed or injected the way that painted fish used to be. There are still painted fish, but they're a lot less popular now that glowfish are more popular. There's controversy around them, and I think that the majority of the controversy comes from people not understanding what exactly they are. Anyways, I will link down that video. If you don't know what glowfish are, I really recommend that you watch that because um, it all paints its way into here. But my biggest problem that I have with glowfish personally is not the fish themselves. I don't think they're that cool looking. I They don't really appeal to me. My kids think they're cool. I happen to like the fact that glowfish seem to bring kids into the hobby. I know a lot of people don't like that they feel that they're being advertised towards kids, but I know that I wouldn't be here if my mom didn't get me a fish tank when I was a little kid, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't want to get my kids into fish. Like, I just think, I think getting kids into the hobby is a good thing, and I don't think that, I think that parents, speaking as a parent, have good intentions. I don't think that any parent goes to the fish store I should say, I don't think that most parents go to the fish store with the intention, hi baby, of um, purposefully, I don't think that they go to the fish store with the intention of purposefully um, killing their kid's fish. Nobody wants to do that. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute and distracting. Um, However, my biggest issue with glowfish, um, apart from the fact that you typically have to get them from big box stores, is that they are uh, typically marketed in very tiny tanks. Uh, glowfish, yes, yeah, I closed the door so that the doggies wouldn't come busting in. Um, I typically uh, see them advertised in these glowfish specific tanks, some of them as small as like one and a half gallons. And personally, I wouldn't put anything in one and a half gallons, but especially if it's your first fish, I think glowfish are more likely to be someone's first fish. Um, and I don't think that any glowfish currently available are really appropriate for most of the glowfish brand tanks. The exception, of course, being the glowfish Daniels could probably do okay in the 10 gallon glowfish tank which is still just really expensive for what it is. So my problem is with the gear, not necessarily with the fish themselves. Um, you want that? Yeah, you can play with that. But um, recently they just came out with new glowfish and I totally understand why they did it. Um, and it is the uh, glowfish shark, which I believe is an albino rainbow shark that they have um, again, genetically altered the DNA, and I think it, right now it comes in, um, I think like red and pink or red and green. I don't remember. It's two colors that it's in right now. I'm sure it's a matter of time before they come out in all of the colors. Um, and the idea is that now you can have glowfish at every level of the tank. Uh, you have the Danios, which are supposed to swim more at the top. I don't think that they're really top swimmers. They're not like catch it fish. They swim throughout the whole environment, but sure. The Danios swim throughout the top, and then the um, tetras and barbs swim in the middle, and the sharks swim at the bottom. You gonna put my makeup on yourself? Um, which is cool, like the idea is cool. And I understand that like, it would really appeal to a little kid to have a hot pink shark. My daughter would love that. Um, so from a marketing standpoint, I get it. But 
Rainbow sharks, unlike other glowfish, are not schooling fish. So only you can only get one, for starters. And for two, they just need huge tanks. I would say minimum 50 gallons for one of them. And I just don't think that most people who are doing glowfish setups are doing it in a 50 gallon. Um, and that being said too, I also know that they are working on, and I've seen pictures, but they're not readily available, angelfish. Yes. And my problem with this is that like angelfish are not, it, it doesn't make sense to have them with things like tiger barbs. You know, um, which is what their other glowfish are. So some of these fish just aren't compatible with each other and just need a much, much, much larger tank than what is um, readily available in, than what most people are going to put them in. So overall, I think the rainbow sharks are pretty cool. I think the angelfish are pretty cool. Angelfish also get enormous, but I would have rather them done uh, some smaller fish than the sharks. And I've heard rumors that they're gonna do quarries. And to me, it makes much more sense. I think that the way they work, they have to use albino fish. So it makes much more sense to me to take um, albino quarries or maybe, maybe albino bristlenose plecos, um, which are still bigger than most, than I would like in most glowfish tanks, but smaller than the sharks. Um, and use those as your bottom schooler. Uh, that just makes so much more sense to me. And I've heard rumors that that's what they're going to do, so I hope that they do come out with that. But overall, that's kind of my thoughts on the shark. I don't really have a problem with it again, just like I don't really have a problem with glowfish. It's just the marketing that I take issue with. What do you think? Do you want a pink shark? Do you want a pink shark? You don't care, but I bet your big sister would. So anyways, I'd like to hear, yeah. yes, we'd like to hear from you guys in the comments down yeah. below. Um, let us know what you think of these new glowfish on yeah. the market or what you would like them to make instead. Um, and I know a lot of people don't like them at all. I'm not a huge fan of the way that they look, but I don't necessarily have a problem with them either. So anyways, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. There should be some coming. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do like one saltwater video and then one freshwater video, kind of like back and forth just as ideas come to me because uh, I have more updates to do with you guys on the saltwater tank. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to check out my beta page on Facebook yeah. down below and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Say bye-bye. And I'm going to take that. And we'll take that. Bye guys. <laughs>